Heartbreak is an inevitable part of the human experience and can be one of the toughest things to deal with. Simply picking yourself up and moving on is much easier said than done when you feel broken. What usually helps my aching heart recover is the word of Allah, the Quran. Here are five ayahs of the Quran that even the most shattered heart can find comfort in. Number one, indeed, with every hardship is ease. This ayah always makes me reflect on everything that I do have and takes the focus off what I've lost. It reminds me that even if it seems like everything is going wrong, something is still going right. When we lose one thing, we gain another. And when we can't think of anything we've actually gained, there are still innumerable blessings that we should be thankful for. Specifically when recovering from heartbreak, the ease if we allow it to be so, is closeness to Allah. I can't think of any other time when I make more dua to Allah and cry to Him more than when I'm heartbroken. 2. No doubt in the remembrance of Allah, hearts find comfort. On a similar note, this ayah is a reminder that if we give our hearts to Allah and remember Him often, they will be soothed. This can be through salah. Quran, Zikr, or just talking to Allah, making dua. We should allow tough times to bring us closer to Allah rather than take us away from Him. A person can blame their bad fate or even Allah all they want, but at the end of the day, who do we really have except Allah? He's the only one who truly understands our pain, and He is always waiting for us to turn back to Him. 3. Perhaps you hate something and it's good for you, and perhaps you love something and it's bad for you. Allah knows while you don't know. This reminder can be a tough pill to swallow, but it's definitely much needed. Sometimes we forget that even if we dislike something that happened to us, it may actually be better for us. For example, if a friend hurts you and the friendship ends, it might be because Allah knew that friend wasn't good for you. And at times, the hurtful situation may even be something we don't see any benefit in, such as heartbreak caused by parents, children, or a spouse. But this is why the ayah ends with, Allah knows while you don't. When something like this happens, we need to trust that whatever happens is the will of Allah, and He wants what's best for us, even if we don't know the wisdom behind it right now. 4. Whenever my servant asks about me, indeed I am near. I respond to the call of supplicant whenever he calls upon me. Whether it's the morning or the middle of the night, Allah is always listening. We need to believe that he is hearing our prayers and will respond in the best way. It's comforting to know that we can have a direct relationship with our Creator any time of day or night and regardless of what's happening in life. 5. Peace be upon you for what you patiently endured, and excellent is the final home. This is what the angels will say to us when we get to Jannah, paradise, inshallah. These words comfort me no matter how much pain I'm in. They remind me that whatever I'm going through is not vain, and also that it's not going to last forever. No matter how difficult of a situation you're in, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Someday, we will all be out of this temporary, imperfect world and living in everlasting bliss, insha'Allah. Although a broken heart can be one of the toughest wounds to heal, we can all find comfort in the Quran in some way. These are the words of the one who made us, the one who knows us better than we know ourselves. So remember to trust the process. Thank you. <laughs>